Doug Adams Gallery is an art gallery that focuses on visual art and religion, and we are part of the Center for the Arts and Religion here at the Graduate Theological Union in Berkeley. The gallery was started in 2009, named after our founder, Doug Adams, who was a professor at the Pacific School of Religion with a deep interest and in love for the role of the arts in religion and worship. In the Doug Adams Gallery, we present exhibitions that have something to do with religion and spirituality. And we do this to connect with classes, students, faculty here at the Graduate Theological Union, and also to connect with our larger community. We present three exhibitions a year here in the Doug Adams Gallery. Usually in the fall, we present a Bay Area artist, and in the spring, we present an artist from somewhere else in the United States. In the summer, we do a little bit of experimentation. This summer, 2017, we're working with a graduate student from the University of San Francisco who has taken on uh, creating an exhibition as a project. We're really excited to be working with Lydia Webster because she comes to us with a, a BA in Religious Studies and an almost completed master's degree in Museum Studies, and she's just the right person to work with us here at the Doug Adams Gallery. To create this exhibition, we connected Lydia with Metropolitan Nikitas from the Patriarch Athenagoras Orthodox Institute, which is one of the partners of the Graduate Theological Union. And with Metropolitan Nikitas, Lydia was able to borrow vestments from his service all around the world. I'm Lydia Webster and I'm from Edinburgh, Scotland in the United Kingdom and I've come to San Francisco to do a master's program in museum studies. I've always been fascinated by museums and really interested in the way that religion plays a role in museums as well. So being offered this opportunity to intern at the GTU perfectly melded together these passions of how religion is displayed in a museum environment. These vestments are worn during the Orthodox services and they're still used to this day, even though he's had them for several years. Um, he's got ones from, around, from Hong Kong, from Vietnam, as well as from where he served in Berkeley, where he's been stationed for the last couple of years. These vestments are deeply religious and sacred objects, but they're also visually stunning works of art. They've been in use since the Byzantine period and they're still used today in services. When you come and see this exhibition, I'd love for you to not only admire these beautiful works of art, but like I was able to, really learn about the history of the Orthodox Church and the role that vestments play. Uh, it's been so exciting for me to learn about how this incredible history has kind of moved into the modern day and is still used. People wear the same kind of things that they would have worn 2,000 years ago. And the things are beautiful. We're making Orthodox hierarchical vestments available to the greater public, to a wider audience, to teach them a little bit of, about history, how we use our vestments in the liturgy, a little bit of enculturation. Lydia came up with a great idea of actually exhibiting my vestments to show the diversity, the colors, to talk about history a little bit. It's part of her own project, her own work. It gives her the ability to do something different. She's opening the doors, I think, for people to give people something new and different. We're really excited about this summer exhibition, so we hope you'll join us and come visit the Doug Adams Gallery. I hope you will all take advantage of this exhibition. You'll come and see something different and new. You'll come visit, maybe be amazed, maybe want to copy things. For those in the field of liturgy, those who are clergy, maybe you'll get some new ideas. But you've got to appreciate the work by not only Lydia, Lily, Dr. Pena, but also CARE for giving you something new and different, and you better take advantage of it. If you'd like to learn more about the Doug Adams Gallery or the Center for the Arts and Religion, please visit our website.